Donald Trump has tapped conservative billionaire Betsy DeVos to serve as education secretary. DeVos is the former chair of the Michigan Republican Party and a longtime backer of charter schools and vouchers for private and religious schools. In response, American Federations of Teachers President Randy Weingarten said, quote, In nominating DeVos, Trump makes it loud and clear that his education policy will focus on privatizing, defunding and destroying public education in America, unquote. If confirmed by the Senate, DeVos could become the most anti-public school education secretary since the Office of Education was established in 1867. The New York Times notes DeVos helped turn her home state of Michigan into one of the nation's biggest school choice laboratories, and the result was disastrous. The DeVosses have bankrolled their school deregulation and privatization efforts through a dark money group called American Federation for Children, a major contributor to the right wing corporate education movement. They've also pushed controversial anti union state legislation known as Right to Work, dealing a major blow to the labor movement, including teachers' unions. In Michigan. Since 1970, the DeVosses have invested at least $200 million in various right wing causes. DeVos's father in law is the co founder of Amway, and her brother is Eric Prince, founder of the mercenary firm Blackwater. For more, we're joined by three guests. In Detroit, Michigan, we're joined by Tawana Simpson, elected member of the Detroit Board of Education. In Madison, Wisconsin, Lisa Graves is with us, executive director of the Center for Media and Democracy. Her piece is titled, Five Things to Know About Billionaire Betsy DeVos, Trump Education Choice. And here in New York, we're joined by Diane Ravitch, the former assistant secretary of education under President George H.W. Bush, historian of education, best-selling author of over 20 books, including Reign of Error, the hoax of the privatization movement and the danger to America's public schools, as well as the death and life of the great American school system, how testing and choice are undermining education. We welcome you all to Democracy Now! Uh, Lisa Graves, let's begin with you. What do you think are the five most important things to know, understand about President Trump, President-elect Trump's education pick? Well, I think he chose perhaps the most unqualified person he could uh, for this position. She's an enemy of public schools. She's someone who has used her inherited wealth and the wealth that she's married into to try to uh, de distort and reshape our laws to advance her personal views, which are that we should basically redefine public education to mean our tax dollars uh, should be going to fund uh, private schools, religious schools um, that advance her worldview. And so she's someone who didn't even send her kids to public schools. She's someone who um, basically has devoted her wealth to attacking our campaign finance laws, to attacking uh, labor, labor laws, and to attacking the very idea of having universal public education for all students that's truly public. Um, so she's someone who is manifestly unqualified. Um, I think it's going to be an enormous battle uh, nationally and in our states to protect our public schools, which is really one of the greatest innovations of, of America in the past century, to have universal public education, truly public schools for all, and to really invest in those schools. Um, putting her in charge of the Department of Education um, really is uh, an insult to all of the many teachers and educators and principals and so many Americans who um, have who have come through our public schools, who have had a chance in this economy to um, make it in their lives, uh, in part due to this commitment of America to public schools, which we need to invest in more, versus the sort of um, alternatives that Betsy DeVos has pushed, including charter schools that have sucked billions out of our, our public education system and that have resulted in hundreds of millions of dollars of